Carlo, going to get your assessment on, on that game. Pretty, pretty decent result. Yeah, it's a great result to come here and um, score three goals and, and get three points. It's yeah, um, a great result. And the way that we did it as well, it was a quite a big battle right to the end. Um, you know, they're a very good side. Um, and so I'm um, so pleased for the boys, the effort that they put in, the way they stood up and um, didn't take a backward step. It was yeah, fantastic. The context of the season, I think, that takes you within one point of C. That must give you a lot of confidence that you can... I know you Going to have, they've got two games in hand, but that you can push them all away. Yeah, look, yeah, it's important that we, you know, as I said tonight before the game as well, let's not um, buy into, you know, what Wanderers are going to do today. Well, let's just concentrate on what we do. If we do what we do well, we'll get the, the points, and that's all we can do, you know, next week. And we're not even looking at City. We're just, you know, we're 11 games now unbeaten, um, and we just want to keep going to the end of the season. You mentioned the style you scored the goals up. I think all three were set, set pieces. pieces. Yeah. Did you know that they were so vulnerable at set pieces? Or? Uh, no, well, Wanderers have the best record, defensive record for set pieces. Um, it's something that we've um, spent a lot of time on this year. Um, you know, we said in pre season, the beginning of the season, that um, there's going to be a lot of games where our set pieces are going to win our games because um, we've got Craig Goodwin, and we've got Zach Clough, um, and we've got some, you know, some. Big boys at the back that attack the ball well. You know, I think you know what's that Ben Waller now three or four goals this year, and he hadn't scored a goal before he came to us. So um, yeah, he, and he was tremendous tonight at the back. He doesn't have a goal bonus in his contract. <laughs> no, but I think he might be want to put one in now that um, you know because he's such a threat now for us on set pieces. And I said when you've got Goody and and Zach Clough, they can put the ball. You know, nine times out of ten, almost in the spot that we want to hit. So, um, and that showed tonight. Can you talk us through. You were you got a front row seat to what happened at the end. What was what was your view of it? Yeah, look, it wasn't. Um, you know, <laughs> Nesta needs to to learn to you know be a bit more um, cool headed. He, he can't allow you know to get the way he did, and and then it just sort of got a little bit out of hand from there, and. Um, yeah, you know, once you start, you know, making contact with people in the head, then you, you know, I don't think the referee had any other option to to send him off. Do, when you're talking about Nesta, there, you're talking about the fact that he was getting. I think it was new and off, wasn't it? Mm. Back, he, so your message to him in that situation is just. Yeah, look, he rising. he can't react like that. Um, that's not. Um, it's it's not how you you should play football. Um, and he's still young and he's learning. That's another thing for, that he needs to learn tonight, that he can't react like that because, you know, some other referees could have easily said you can go off for that. Um, so it's something that he needs to learn. And, and, and from the other side, I mean, I guess the, Marcelo puts him in a headlock. He's only he's still only 17. Hmm. Right? But the, I know you don't, we don't want people running in, but to see them all... Yeah, 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 they yeah, protect. You know, that's that's the our biggest asset in in this team is we are a, a solid team and we all back each other up. And you know, when someone you know needs help, you know, our teammates will step up for them.